This has to be one of the most uncommon pump shotguns, and I should probably say one of the most uncommon shotguns, period. This is a Russian RMB 93. Um, I, I probably handled one like years ago, you know, I forget exactly which guns I've seen, but I've always heard about them. Naturally, Russian guns are always hard to come across, and even more so now. But the RMB-93 is, I mean, so unique. Um, I received a call that it, it, had, it had walked in the door um, at Reliable Gun. So I went down, had a look at it, and, you know, naturally this is not an inexpensive shotgun, uh, but any collector or gun person knows that the more scarce a firearm is, generally speaking, um, the higher the price is going to be. And I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you uh, this remarkable engineering feat. It's something else. So you can tell right away, or maybe you can't, that, that, that this, what looks like the barrel, it's not the barrel. That's the magazine. This is the barrel. The barrel's on the bottom. Uh, I'll, I'll review how this action opens. So you, you move this latch back and that opens the top of the action. So I doubt that you've ever seen a pump action shotgun like that. I put a shell, actually I put three rounds in there and you can see you hang up the rim on that little cutout. And there are a bunch of things that are very unique here. Uh, probably one of the most unique is the trigger which is a striker and it's independent of the action. So by that, I mean, you're not cocking the striker by moving the pump. You're actually cocking the striker with your finger, but they've engineered it in such a way that it's not troublesome at all. And they've given it some beefy finger grooves because to load the action, um, you, you have to move vigorously forward so that first motion gets the gun, uh, gets the round ready to be, and there it is. You can see it hanging in the air, but it's not gonna fall out or anything. I actually tried harder than that. So the design is sound. And then when we move this back, it's loaded and that shell is trapped. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just shoot three rounds. And I did notice something interesting. I fired, same as you, 870s and Ithacas, you know, all my life. So uh, I noticed that I tried to move the pump back to reload, which is kind of interesting. I might even do it again, but I'll try not to. So that is actually ready to go. It's in battery now. And w these are just rifled slugs, Cellier and Bellot, I think. Um, I forget what they are, maybe one ounce or maybe a little less, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is something else. I do notice that the recoil uh, feels different, and I think that's because the barrel is, is lower in relation to my shoulder. Um, of course, the thumb hole stock is, is always a good feature for recoil. Uh, but you can, I, I don't know, I haven't seen any footage, but um, I definitely am not getting as much of a of a lift as I'd expect. I'll show you the bottom of the action now. I mean, this is some kind of unique mechanism. So that's, that's the barrel. And these two retaining arms are spring-loaded. And then it snaps. So you can see the bore is chrome-plated. The Russians often chrome-plate the bores. So yeah, we, we slam it shut. That would be ready to go. And to examine what's going on, we open the top. Quite a remarkable shotgun. And then I'll show you that trigger. So best way to show it, I guess, is like this. This, this is full resistance. And um, of course the action is empty. So 
when you fire this, it's not a matter of finding the the engagement point. It's it's kind of a counterintuitive actually trigger. You just fire like that. You just make make sure you're on target and pull the trigger. Uh, I I I um, I actually like the trigger a lot. I thought it's uh, useful to compare other pump actions with that RMB. And you know, we have a lot of younger shooters on the channel, so uh, I should probably, you know, explain that when you're a collector, one of the... Actually, I think what, what causes a person to become a collector is interest in, in mechanisms, and you kind of want to compare in your own, kind of in your own good time uh, the different actions. So Remington 870, three inch Magnum, this, I think it's made in the 80s, this one familiar to everyone so quite different from the Russian shotgun uh, it, it obviously has a locking mechanism twin action slide bars you know the function of the 870 I won't bore you with it but I'm going to set it on the table and then you'll see the difference it's it's quite a profound difference so maybe we'll close that action and here's the here's the browning so I think we reviewed this before just an excellent steel and walnut shotgun uh, as well regarded I think as the 870 this one is bottom feed and bottom eject but these are massive receivers you can see how long and you'll see how long they are um, in comparison to the Russian shotgun in a moment anyway have a look on the table and you can see how different they are the sunlight's not perfect but here's the Russian pump action there's the 870 so we've got magazine tubes on the bottom, magazine tube on the top, bottom, bottom. And I mean, the rest is actually, doesn't even need explaining. I'll pick this one up again. You, you'll see, um, and I'm sure you've already registered, how entirely different the thinking is for this shotgun. The barrels don't move on any of those shotguns. In fact, I have not seen a I have not seen a pump action shotgun where the barrel moves naturally in auto five semi-auto those recoil driven ones the the barrel does move but um, nothing no, nothing like this Russian pump all right clay pigeons um, can I use a couple of your shells I just thought this thing is working so well with slugs um, I may as well try some clay pigeons it's not exactly a trap gun but there it is. So we've got some Winchester light loads in there. Got it. That's pretty good. Always feels good when you, you know, you hit a clay um, with something that isn't really designed for clays, but it does that as well. We'll take another shot. Yeah, you know, didn't actually come to shoot the video on shoot clay pigeons. This is not a bad, actually, design for a trap shotgun. Uh, I could easily see a single shot trap shotgun based on this design. I, in terms of safety on the line, um, you can see, obviously, when this is open. And maybe there is something similar. And I could probably think of a few things that could be done with recoil attenuation with this floating barrel. Uh, anyway, I'll have to think about that. But as I said, I came with the intention of just seeing if it shot slugs well. I didn't bring any buckshot, and it turns out it's not a bad bird gun either, which is really funny. So I thought since we were shooting that Russian pump, I'll just fire the 870, maybe a couple of the others, and you can just watch them in operation. I'm using the same uh, slugs that I used in the, in the Russian gun. All right, well, here we go. Yeah, effortless and 
Do they ever jam or break down? I've never seen it. Or we'll move to something else. Okay, so this is Browning BPS. So I'll just take the same slugs as before. Yeah, definitely the trigger is the first thing that you notice. The Russian shotgun has that striker trigger. Uh, so quite different. I remember taking a course, I can't remember whether it was like anthropology or linguistics or something, uh, but the professor was saying that the language that people speak affects how they think. And naturally the history of the people affects how they think as well. And every time I buy a Russian gun, or actually a gun from any country, that's why I'm always interested in what country a firearm comes from. Because you learn, in a way, a lot about the people when you study the products they make, especially firearms. And this, this uh, Russian pump action obviously has features that we would just never think of. I've, um, there, there's something from South Africa that I haven't seen that's similar. Uh, but, you know, I'll have to get one of those one of these days and then we can look at that too. And maybe this is based on that or that's based on this. It's, you know, we're all copies of one another. Uh, but yeah, this is um, a remarkable gun to own. The top loading and the, the, the spring loaded hatch, um, the ruggedness of the whole rig, the way it feeds with the shell in the air. It makes you wonder about it at first and then you just realize uh, the designers of this shotgun um, had obviously a very unique mandate and a very unique way of thinking. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and we can shoot it some more. I won't be selling this shotgun anytime soon. I'll fire this last slug and we'll leave it at that and take care until we meet again. It's, it's really just fantastic.